position, yo. TKO under the Endeavor umbrella. This was made official uh, this past Tuesday uh, with them all pulling up to the, you know, the New York Stock Exchange, ringing the bell, all parties involved. You got Triple H, uh, you feel me? You got Dana White. You got Vince McMahon with his weird mustache. Uh, what up, what up, what up, what up? All right, go ahead. Let me pick it back up. Go ahead. Please. But let it go. No, let me go. Let me find it. I want to look at this shit one more time. Mr. Man, me, yo. Don't nobody on that stage got hair any blacker than Vince McMahon. Well, look at that shit. Like, it's like a blackhead. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga using the hair dye that, that Grandpa Lou from Rugrats was using. That shit wasn't dark. That shit was dark, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> With a U and an R. <laughs> nigga, the son had to get that shit out. You had seen the uh, you seen the picture that they have on the TKO website of Vince McMahon? He's just like standing in the background looking like a, like a super villain. Like an evil ass like Lex Luthor. <laughs> like, bro, the lighting is just like the lighting and the look, and I'm like, this is the, like the most Vince McMahon picture that's ever been taken of this man. Like, this is like what's been on the inside all these years. Lord Zed, Lord Vince, <laughs> he's just sitting there with a TKO belt. You know what I mean, if it wasn't for Bianca and and Montez being there, representing, like, listen, like, listen, your new spokesperson, listen, wrestling fans, TKO, Montez. And Bianca are the greatest wrestling couple to ever live. Debate your mama, debate your bitch with me, look in the mirror and debate yourself. Because there's nothing better than when you can put them two together to represent anything. Because they was like, they was at the stock exchange and then they went to the VMAs like in the same day. Like they know who they're sending out. They know what they're, they know what they're putting forward. And uh Yeah. There was like a lot of other news going on with the whole TKO thing. There was a uh, a quote from what is his name Epstein Lawrence, who was like, "Yeah, you know, we want to get to a point where every WWE fan is a UFC fan, and every UFC fan is a WWE fan." Dana mm-hmm. White commented on this, and he was like, "That is stupid." <laughs> and that I'm is like, "The stupidest shit I've ever heard in my entire life," which is what Dana White said. Yeah, <laughs> he said, <laughs> I'm I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that was a stu- listen." UFC wishes that they can have the fans that WWE has. If you want to be real with it, like the UFC has been trying to corner the market on MMA the same way that WWE did in eighty two, eighty three. They have you know what I mean? the market on MMA. I mean, I mean, if, if if the PFL still exists, if Pride and shit like they had like. The thing with that, the UFC that had to deal with AEW exists, Impact exists, New Japan no, exists. The UFC, the WWE UFC has, has cornered the market on that, just so like they UFC did, they has did cornered the market on that. Years MMA. ago, well, who's but who's bigger than the the UFC and MMA? Pride's been around since. Who's before, bigger right? than the UFC? Are we talking about MMA? now? Are we talking about right now? This very moment, yeah. Right now, well, of course it's. I mean, until Francis fights fucking um. Tyson Fury and PFL, but so other than that, point? like yo, the, the, no, I'm talking about like what you, what Dana White is what saying. What it used to be like, in '93. No, what Dana White is saying is like, listen, we're trying to get where they're at right now. He ain't trying to make himself little brother, but he's like, listen, man, like if I hope so, but listen, like no, man, like they like MMA fans like this, wrestling fans like this, a lot of MMA fans and wrestling fans like both, but you're not going to change that. That's what a lot of MMA make. fans don't give a fuck about wrestling, though. But a lot that's, of wrestling fans don't give a fuck about MMA. I, that's where that's I wanted fact, to go you feel with me? it. And that's me. why, like, Dana White is not trying to say we trying to be like them. He trying to say, like, no, nigga. Like, we can work in unison, but them fans ain't these fans, and these fans ain't them fans. And you feel me? There might be some crossover, but it's definitely not a lot and not enough to be like, Oh yeah, we gonna get everybody on board. You feel me? Like no. no. What type of shit is that? Like I, I think I, what I he was trying want... to say is just like listen, like if if some of our fans can like see us from the other side, and then like the other fans can see us from the other side, like, it'll be good. But he was like, no, we would we would get the fans and like everything. Like no, nigga, shut your fucking mouth. 
That's what he like, was trying bro, to say. Bro, like, have you, have you gone, like, under a post, like, a tweet or, like, a Facebook post where WWE and UFC are, like, mentioned, like, in the same thing and they're both tagged in it? It's an all-out war in there, man. You have, you have <laughs> niggas, like, arguing, like, yeah, man, that, that shit is fake. And then, like, the other side is, like, they're doing this, like, 300 days out of the year. Like, they're only wrestling. I'm not wrestling. They're only fighting, like, once a month. Like, well, y'all can't compare. Y'all can like, yo, it's an all-out war. Man, listen. In there. Man. And then it's Bobby Lashley. Like, look, Bobby Lashley. He did both. Like, it was like, anyone yep. fucking Bobby Lashley. Sign Julius Creed up, man. Get him over there, dog. Yo, that is that. That 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 so, that dude is different. Nick Khan was on the Bill Simmons podcast, and uh, he talked a little bit about uh, the merger and you know where they was going with things. And uh, Bill Simmons had asked if there was any possibility. Um, you know, that you could see something like, uh, you know, WWE and UFC going in on the same weekend type of thing. And he was like, actually, th- th- the conversations have just started on, you know, the things that we could do working together. And uh, something like an all-star TKO weekend is enticing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Jizzle, I got to ask you, as somebody who's an aficionado of mm-hmm. both mm-hmm. MMA and WWE or pro wrestling in general, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he said it would look something like we go into that city on Friday for SmackDown, Saturday, the UFC event, Sunday, the WWE goes in with the PLE, and that's the All Star TKO weekend possibly some other events that they can do to like kind of bring the union together. Like, how do you see that playing out? If like in good or bad, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what does that look like to you? Does that look like that, that works? That, it, I mean, it depends. Like, it depends on what, what, what PLE you want to run with the um, UFC event that you want. Cause like mm-hmm. UFC just runs like fight nights and shit all the time. Just like in the city. Like, yeah, and sure. I think that's what makes it so, so appealing because like no matter what ple that you're running like you can just throw a, like whatever ufc fight night ufc whatever like in the same city and they can run that shit in the same they, you can run that shit in the same building and, like since it's one like this is endeavor or tko like one big like one big you know what i'm saying conglomerate now mm-hmm. like you can just run them niggas like you could just run it like okay we're gonna have the we're gonna have the building like if you're in las vegas like what's that the law what's that the t-mobile <laughs> arena Mm-hmm. We're gonna have we're gonna have that this day, and then Sunday we're gonna have this, and then like if I'm gonna be in fucking Kentucky, like the, the UFC is li- is literally just throwing shit at the wall because all niggas want to fight all the time because all them niggas hate each other, and then we so we can fight whatever, but like if you want to like run your PLE with that shit, especially like when you get to the Big Four season, that's when you can have your your number because like in two ninety four, two ninety five, mm-hmm. like we wouldn't have John Jones do some shit. Like that's like, and you want to have like WrestleMania? That's when you want to. Maybe not WrestleMania though. Royal Rumble, or like Summer, like SummerSlam, nigga. Like you imagine running like SummerSlam at. I don't want to say that. Well, you know the Mets ain't doing shit. You know I mean they have Royal Rumble over there. You have SummerSlam over there, like at the Mets Stadium, and then you can just run fucking uh, UFC three hundred at fucking. The garden, and then now, and then now that you're fucking signed with the WWE, you know what I mean? Who who literally runs the garden over the New York Knicks? Like (laughs) like, it's WWE, the Liberty, and then the Knicks. Yo, (laughs) Liberty, God, Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Liberty. Somebody gotta win something. You know what I mean? So like you, like you run some shit like that. Like you, like you saying like a Super Weekend like that. Like that. that, That's where the money is. It's just like, and then like, I think like with the UFC being so flexible with their events and then mm-hmm. WWE, like having their events, like mapped out in advance 
already. Like the UFC can just be like, yo, I'm saying like, look, we can throw a fucking event on there right now, nigga. Like, that's what's that, blood? That's another thing. That's another thing that he mentioned, possibly releasing uh WWE and UFC schedule similar to the NBA and NFL, MLB, you know what I'm saying? Like you got a little too much zip in your shit, blood. Listen, like have, <laughs> have, it, like, have, it, like, have it like have it like have it like 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 what you said, you know what I'm saying? Baby like, steps, baby little, steps, baby you know steps. Like, you, know like, weekend, you know what I mean? Like have a little super weekend where you can have like once a month where you be like, yo, is both of us coming into your town? Mm-hmm. And then like corner the market. Like you need to be like, you need to corner your market like NBA Young Boy had. Like you want to have a cult following, which is what wrestling and MMA have, which is what this idiot was trying to say, but he just didn't say it right because he's an idiot. So uh, like you want to have the people that love both to watch whatever it has the name on, whatever the name on. Like you can't cross promote mm-hmm. it because they're all fucking. Like Daniel Cormier's been a fan, like blah blah blah. You've been talking about doing something, like you ain't about to do nothing with him. But like, like we can have like you listen once a month. This is gonna be us, and then the rest of the time, like listen, do what you got to do, and mm. preferably do it on a Saturday because you do not want to compete with NFL Sunday. Like compete with Clemson. No, you compete with you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, this young man, Daddy, rolling over in his grave after <laughs> listening to this shit. Yeah, That's crazy. Over. Yeah. yeah um, roll over. Going over to the other side of the pillow that that's cold that he paid for. Like, yeah, man, there was another report about the TV rights, the deal yeah. that you know is coming up. Uh, SmackDown. Yeah, it's you know I guess the more growing concerns that SmackDown might not be picked back up by Fox. Uh, they were saying I think the 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 leaders and contenders right now is like uh, Amazon. What was it? No, Disney and Amazon. Yeah, Disney and Amazon, right? Yeah, and, and it's weird. I'm talking to um, Bezos at Fashion Weekend too. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, like he was. Like, yeah, for, <laughs> he uh, was. Was. Shout out to Maxine Dupree. You feel me? That you know what I'm saying? She walked. But uh, I, I just think like it's a little weird that Fox is like, you know what? It's not doing what we wanted to. Let's throw it off there. Like, what else do you got on a Friday night besides sports that you're throwing on Fox that's doing those numbers? Like. It Especially might. Since, the, since the Pac-12 then blown up and like you don't have them rights no more because they used to show the Pac-12 games. All right, so we talked about that a little bit last week, and you mentioned the same thing, right? About like what else can they put in that time slot that's going to do the SmackDown numbers like that? And I don't yeah. know if it's necessarily about the numbers that SmackDown is doing. It might be more about the money that they spent on SmackDown I feel and you. what WWE is asking. For the now. next deal, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They said like 700, uh, 700 million from mm-hmm. like the 400 or something that they were getting. Like, they asked for like an extra 300 million. It was like, they're asking for a lot. Yeah, they asking for oh. a lot. Oh, apparently, Yo, for a whole lot more. Listen, we gave you Roman Reigns and we gave you Ronda Rousey, yeah. like we said. Now, apparently, it looks like from what is it to do, to, 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 they're estimating. An upcoming loss, 23, the 2023 and 2024, mm-hmm. about $455.3 million in losses. Actually, you know what? My apologies. 2023 and 2024 combined would be 734.3 oh, boy. For my, in, oh. in losses. Oh, my, for my Fox? heart. For Fox. Yo, my stomach. They're charging Bro. like forty-seven thousand dollars a minute for advertisements, and they're saying like the level of advertisements and the money that they get for advertisements, the type of advertisements that they get, is not really conducive to the money that WWE is asking for. And then on top of that, they like nigga, we don't know if these numbers is gonna change within this next deal. You feel me? Within the next three to five years, so I don't know about that. So you, you know might see. You might see WWE on something like Amazon Prime or, you know what I'm saying, like maybe like an ABC type thing or I don't know if they would be on cable. Uh, I don't know. They mentioned something about like FX if they wanted to go cable or, you know, maybe uh, ABC, the broadcast channel. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what's on that you would like boot off of the air, you know what I'm saying, in in place of. Hey, I got a hot take for you. Go. First off, like Endeavor – and Fox, like Fox, ain't really fucking with the UFC because UFC fucking fucking ousted them niggas because they had they like UFC had like the Fox had UFC like way like 10, 15 years ago, 
when they had um, one nigga get beat up in 15 seconds and shit. Like, so they, like, they done deals with uh-huh. UFC and they don't really want to fuck with them like that anyway. And then, like, you're doing the merger and then, like, yo, we gave y'all Roman Reigns and then we did the whole little draft shit and then we had the little robot shit. So now you're, like, so you're asking for more money. Like, even though, like, yo, SmackDown has definitely held up their end of the bargain, so to say, because, like, listen, we're the number one show. Like, listen, we do 2.5 million average that's no cool, what. but nobody's paying to put ads on your show. I mean, we have UFC now. You know what I mean? We can put <laughs> we can put these UFC fights. You know what I'm saying? You trying to like, put a, some duct tape on a? You feel me on a, <laughs> on, the on, a, on, a on a pothole? Well, you feel I'm me? Trying, I'm trying to I'm trying to have the nigga that's I'm trying to have Dylan Brooks set the screen. You know what I'm saying? For John Moran to go dunk that's on hilarious. some niggas. You know what I mean? Like, listen, like mm. UFC has to be the screen set nigga. And the nigga that fouls niggas, like you know what I'm saying, on, on the back end. But I don't think Fox mm-hmm. wants to do any any anything with UFC because they don't fuck with them niggas. Hey, so out. this is so if SmackDown Man, was to move, too. this is this is the 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 lineup on ABC, right? So the Friday night lineup on ABC, like prime time, if they were to go, you feel me, is Shark Tank at eight o'clock and then uh. 2020 at nine o'clock. All right, they're not moving 2020. They're, they're like, not moving no 2020. Not 2020 no been on for like 60 years. Like Shark Tank, they get the fuck, they get Shark Tank the fuck out of here. Like me, like yo, you get that. And, and, and then it's like 2020, they gotta, nah. And then it's like because because wrestling is kind of booming in a way where other networks are, you know what I'm saying, trying to grab their own wrestling programs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What other day is SmackDown gonna go on? Are they gonna go it? back to Thursdays? Wednesdays against here's what here's what you got on ABC on uh Wednesday nights. Wipe Judge out. Steve Harvey. Oh. Yeah. Celebrity Family Feud. Abbott Elementary. Not oh no, nowhere. oh hell no, nah, yeah, bro. Like, not yeah, going like, nowhere. Yo. You're not they, moving they, Abbott they, Elementary. Mm. Sorry. No, Never. no. Absolutely not. You, you mean, wanna go back on not- Tuesdays? Celebrity Jeopardy's over there. You feel me? We could well, we could well you can put celebrity Jeopardy anywhere. Exactly. You feel me? And, and you know, Jeopardy honestly, seven thirty. Celebrity Jeopardy might only be there because of you know, what I'm saying the writer strike. You know, what I'm saying. Well, but Disney's yeah. about to buy the shit. But I think Fox is just acting like you know, what I mean, act like that girl. Like I'm down. I'm done with SmackDown. I ain't never gonna see SmackDown. And then all of a sudden they go sign that new deal. They're like, oh my god, you thought we was over? Like, yeah, you, you, you still want SmackDown? You I mean, listen, they got another oh. year. That deal don't come up until like you know what I'm saying October of next year, so they they got a yeah. while to you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, once Roman Reigns shows up with Christmas presents, you know what I'm saying they're gonna be just fine. Yeah, bro, I don't know, I don't know why they tripping, man. Like you remember back in like 2004, 2005, them niggas was canceling a show every other week. Right, right <laughs> they've been right. losing money. <laughs> bro, he's like, well, they needed Batista. They was like, yo, Batista, we go move you over here. He was like, why? <laughs> He was like, well, Undertaker's over here. He was like, all right, all right cool. G Nation said, ain't nobody watching Jeff Steve Harvey. <laughs> That's a fact. Though. Fucking you know, fact. I'm not, I'm you know, hey, but, but hey, we we shh, that's we got two hour shows, day. though. You feel me? Like, we're going we gonna to be like, yo, move Abbott Elementary to 10 o'clock Never. instead of 9. Ab- oh. Abbott Elementary is not moving anywhere. Yeah, you, right. have, you have to work around that because you just got here, nigga. Yeah, which is right. why I think Fox right. is going to hold on to the niggas. I think Fox is nah. going to hold on to that time slot. Yeah, I don't know, man. Well, we'll see. You had to you had to fight for Alba, Abbott Elementary. They do the first hour of, of SmackDown, take a thirty minute break, show the episode yeah, of Abbott Elementary. Then, like, okay, yeah, yeah. resuming. Like a split Friday. Shift. Hey, listen, Friday nights live on Amazon Prime. You feel me? SmackDown. <sighs> Pull up to the app. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> right after right. Apple, right after listen, Outlaw Johnny Black. Listen, you know Amazon, Amazon Prime has like 148 million subscribers. I believe it. It's like I'm my belt so quick. And they ain't got shit on that app besides the boys. Uh, but what if hey, you put that shit on YouTube? Yeah. 200 million worldwide uh, Amazon Prime subscribers, 147 million in the US. Yo, where's YouTube at them trying to buy SmackDown? They just bought the they just bought the fucking Sunday ticket. You think they can't afford fucking SmackDown? You know what I'm saying? They probably nigga, got that shit in their back pocket. Nigga, hey, if I was WWE, fuck it, nigga. We going to Amazon. Triple H was just talking to Jeff Bezos, like you said, nigga. What's up? Let's pull up to Amazon. Peacock has two million subscribers, nigga. 
Amazon has 200. Oh, Take yeah. everything to Amazon, nigga. Oh, and well, you, like, you, can go, not... you can go to Revolt for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Listen, go with Diddy. You know what I mean? Listen, put SmackDown on Revolt. You know what I mean? Then you get Adam on free when you sign hey, up. Hey, 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 Diddy is brother love. You feel me? This is another love TKO. The album come out Friday. You feel me? <laughs> Friday night SmackDown. Friday night love. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. <laughs> like, bro, and the TKO. Another and not for nothing, TKO. but like, hold nigga. on, Ben. You got to say it too, bro. Another love TKO. <laughs> I think it was on it. Then nigga was like, yo, it's like if you mute this, like I still can't get over that tweet. Like, yo, if you mute him and he's walking across the stage, look like that nigga doing stand up. <laughs> but like that, like the move to the move to Amazon Prime doesn't really sound too bad. I mean, the NFL is showing Thursday night football games on there. Yep. But, going strong. but HBO Max, like if you go to HBO Plus, listen, where you need to go to where you can bleed. Freely and say the f word, you know what yeah. I mean? Because that's why I want you to go. Like Amazon, like, listen, Bezos gonna let you say that shit. They cooking in the chat that. right now. <laughs> they cooking in the chat. <laughs> Yo, Andy, WWE uh, wrong. Okay, Be so Andy cool. says uh, they have one championship on Friday on Amazon Prime. You feel me? I, I don't even know. Like I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I don't even know. Like like what that. 200 million, 147, 48 million in the US subscriber base really means because I got Amazon Prime. I got Amazon Prime video just because I got Amazon Prime. You feel me? Like, that's you feel me? That's the point that I'll be forgetting. I'll be forgetting that I got (laughs) that I got Prime video. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, bro, let let, let me tell you Amazon Prime don't got shit on there besides Thursday Night Football, the boys. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Invincible, and it's like I mean, a couple of other shows they got on there. Every other, like literally, like almost every other show, movie, TV show that you want to watch, like you go on there. They're like, hey, if you want to watch this show, you got to get another subscription on this network that we got on this app. And like he said, like yo, a lot of people sign up for like Amazon Prime and like don't know. Oh, they just throwing this shit at you for free anyway. Like nigga. There's some of these like deals the they have shit. throwing at you. There's some of these deal facts. Like there's some of these deals they got throwing at you. You get Amazon Music for free. Like you get yep. this shit like bundled in together, and you didn't even know that you got it. Yeah, hey, nigga, you got Voodoo, nigga. Like, what's Voodoo? <laughs> like, oh, uh, but you know, like that's my man Sean said. Listen, man, you watching SmackDown and Yu Gi Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, what watching Yu Gi Oh? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying on, you know what I'm saying on the on the Tubi. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, they put SmackDown on Tubi. David said Amazon is just Tubi. Yeah, Amazon is just Tubi with a paywall. Thank you. <laughs> Ain't shit on there. Mr. All Days Off said WWE Raw on BT Plus. Oh, uh, man. Bro. Hey, right, right, what? Right what? the sisters? Hey, no, no. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm subscribing just to see a segment with our truth and uh, what's what's bro Tyler Perry? Hey, book it. Tyler Perry and our truth. Put put our truth on brothers. <laughs> you feel me? Yo, <laughs> Whatever he, that look, show what's, is. What's show? Look, remember Playmakers? You know what I'm saying with with Derwin? Yeah, bring that back. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bring that back with our truth. Oh, the game. <laughs> yo, yo, the game. <laughs> yo, put it put it on Pluto. You know what I mean? Shout out yeah, to Pluto with, with my man uh, Malik Elder Barge Wright. Oh my god, man. Bro. But he like he like he was fucking Serena Williams for one for a little bit, even Marcel, and then just like had a baby with a regular bitch. I was like, all right, man, that's what I'm talking about, Malik. Smackdown on Hulu, man. FX, man, come get it, dog. You feel but, me? What, what they got on, on FX? Hulu. Yellowstone or some shit? You feel me? But fucking um, Yellowstone no ball was gone. You can't, you can't get Yellowstone night, nigga. It's <laughs> just on Paramount now. Oh, okay, my bad, nigga. I don't yeah, know. that shit is definitely on Paramount. Cause I was like, cause that that was one of them shows. I was like, I was like, that's on Peacock. Then I'm like, yeah, yeah see this right? That's definitely on Paramount Plus. Shit, they could put it on Paramount Plus. But, Shit, ain't nobody, ain't nobody over on Paramount Plus. They were like, yo, apparently, like they're like the bottom of the bottom when it comes to like streaming, like apps and everything like that. Like Paramount, Paramount Plus is at the sick. bottom. Nigga, well, I they, just watched, they got uh, all the Nickelodeon shows. Nigga, I'm talking about yep. like Rocket Power, like yeah, all the shows so. over there. And they have all the challenges on there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the MTV challenges. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'll fucking, like I'm saying, go right past Yellowstone to get to the fucking challenges. You know what I'm saying? They got the challenges with cuss words on it. So I'm down for that. You know what I mean? Like, you put them on Paramount. 
I just watched Lioness on Paramount mm. with a uh, Zoe Saldana, uh, Nicole Kidman. I'm so and uh, uh, Morgan Freeman. I don't even care what's going on. You said Zoe Saldana. I was like, all right, but whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Whatever she. Nah, doing, it was yeah. fire. It was fire until the last episode didn't really make no sense, but it's all good. Uh, but yeah, man, WWE, uh, UFC, TKO, they did the damn thing, man. We'll see what happens with all of that. You feel me? All of that, all of that, all of that. Uh, NXT, No Mercy is coming.